What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin Gotti for Justin Gotti TV. Thank you so much for checking out tonight's video. Now, if you're new to my YouTube channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. And as I, I want to be on here on a daily basis, making daily videos for you guys, whether it's professional football, college football, mixed martial arts, professional wrestling, you name it, I'll cover it for you guys. Basketball is something that's going to be coming up here, you know, soon as I'm going to be doing some team previews um, going into next year. That's going to be going down the line in a couple of months. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff coming from my YouTube channel. I got, I'm going to try and schedule some more interviews for you guys. So if you guys want to leave questions, I'll be making, you know, announcements on my Facebook page. So make sure you guys go and like that page. Add me as a friend and we'll, you know, start talking some sports with each other. Now today, guys, I'm here talking to my MMA fans, my MMA fan base. You know, I'm a member of, you know, multiple forums. I will, I love getting your guys' opinion about stuff. And I'll always listen to you guys because, you know, here on my YouTube channel, I like to be more, you know, social with the fans. You know, you guys leave your comments on my YouTube channel. I'll be more than glad to, you know, talk back to you guys. If you guys leave good comments, you know, I ignore the bad comments. I block the people who do the bad comments because who needs negativity in their lives? So, um, you know, I was getting your guys' opinion as today the UFC held the uh, UFC in Dublin and it was overall a very good show. But right after the show, um, Tyrone Spong, if you guys know who he is, he's a, he's a glory kickboxer right now. Um, he's a, he's a uh, MMA fighter as well. He fought for a uh, World Series of Fighting. And it was announced, or, or Dana White, I think it was after his media scrum, um, he announced that you know Tyrone Spong was actually in the crowd tonight watching the event. And Dana White was like, I have uh, Tyrone Spong in the back trying to make me sign him right now. Now, what if Tyrone Spong originally or was going to sign with the UFC? Now, he competed at light heavyweight at World series of fighting for he won the fight against angel deonda this was just right when you know World Series of Fighting was starting to kick off, and you know I really like what they have on their roster. You know they have some MMA veterans like Tyson Griffin. Um, they just got Melvin Gallard. This is a you know a, a promotion that's in the in the making. It's rising a whole lot. Nick Newall is there. Marlon Morales, he's there. So this event, you know, this promotion is going well. And Tyrone Spong, who has not you know only fought in pretty much one MMA fight from what I know, um, he has he can pack a mean punch, but he's primarily a kickboxer. And what if he comes to the UFC? What does the landscape you know, feel like for the UFC. Um, he's going to be competing in the light heavyweight division, and his weight is roughly, you know, right around uh, 209. Maybe he can really push it, you know, as a as a you know middleweight if you if you want to look at it, but. You know, he, he can he primarily fights as a kickboxer. Um, you know, kickboxing MMA is pretty much the same thing, but you're using more of your feet and everything. So he's already, you know, MMA. He has the MMA experience. You know, not a whole lot of it, but he has the experience. So what if he comes to the UFC? What does this mean for the UFC? Now, I really do enjoy, you know, when you look at the current standpoint in the UFC light heavyweight division, you know, you got John Jones right now. You know, he's already dominating the competition. He's only lost once in his UFC career. He's 20 and 1. He lost to Matt Hamill doing legal elbow so primarily it wasn't really you know an actual you know set in stone kind of a loss it went to the judges or anything like that you know John Jones messed up against the fight against Matt Hamill and that's his only loss in on his UFC record since then he's defeated guys like Brandon Vera Vladimir Matyushenko uh, very good fights with that epic battle against uh, Alexander Gustafsson back at UFC 165 uh, Rashad Evans Vitor Belfort you name it Glover Teixeira you name it John Jones has defended his championship and he has yet to be defeated now, if you look at the current rankings in the UFC light heavyweight division, you know, Daniel Cormier is a very interesting competitor. And what if Tyrone Spong does sign with the UFC? And the UFC wants to give him an you know, immediate opportunity. Um, it's going to take some time for him to actually... 100%, you know, get ready again to fight formation. I think he's going to be a, the kind of a guy, kind of like Tiago Alves. You know, he's a veteran. He's been away from the sport for a while. You know, Spong has been away since last year, has not competed in an MMA fight since. You know, he's going to have to start warming up a little bit. And I would love to see, say if Tyron Spong does sign with the UFC, then, you know, uh, Dana White still has to finish things over with Gina Carano, you know, this week. I heard she's, she's going she's gonna to sign this week with the UFC. And then, you know, then you can open up your current, your contract discussion with Spong. I would really love to see, you know, Spong make a big impact in the UFC, t take on, you know, a top 15 competitor, you know, guys like Fabio Maldonado. You know, he's trying to reinvent himself after a loss against Stipe Miocic. Now, you know, Fabio Maldonado was a very undersized heavyweight going into his fight against Miocic. So, you know, why not have, you know, Maldonado taking on Spong in his first fight? What about Ryan Jimmo versus Spong? You know, these are so many great, you know, thoughts in my mind that, you know what, 
let him introduce himself. You know, have him primarily fight at light heavyweight. A lot of people are like, let him fight at 209. Let him go into the, you know, the, the middleweight picture and have him go into fights against, like, guys like, uh... Francis Carmo, uh, Yoel Romero, you name it, you know, you put him in there, um, he can have a good run um, at Chris Weidman, you know, that could be a great, you know, that would be an excellent fight, Spong versus Weidman, two guys who are buff as hell, strikers, and, and Chris Weidman, part uh, particularly a wrestler, you know, Spong, is, it's going to be a very interest, interesting fight when, when you see those two guys compete against each other, but I would really want to see John Jones taking on Spong, you know, both of these guys are just grapplers, and the guys like to go out there and just like leave it all in the octagon, you know, John Jones also, you know, a, a very great wrestler as well, Spong likes to stand up, you know, use his feet a whole lot to his advantage, so, you know, the only question is, you know, is Spong going to be 100%, you know, well, like I said, you know, going back to the John Jones thing before I get on to the new thing, uh, John Jones with Spong will be a great opportunity, and, and you know, it's going to take some time for him, because, you know, we look at Spong, he's just coming off, you know, a very dangerous leg injury, kind of like what Anderson Silva went to, but it wasn't as serious as Anderson Silva's. So Spong, you know, it's going to take for some time for him to get back to 100% if he's not 100% by now, so it's still up in the air on how his health is, and, you know, what percentage of health is he ready to compete? Is he not ready to compete? That's still, you know, left up in the air. But you know what, overall, I think it will be a great signing for the UFC if they added a guy like Tyrone Spong, who really, or Spong, who needs to, you know, make that big jump in his career. I think, you know, World Series of Fighting is a great promotion, but you know what, you know, the big dogs lie in the UFC, and that's where, you know, Spong deserves to be, you know, have him compete in the whatever division he wants to go, if he wants to go middleweight, if he wants to go light heavyweight, you you name it, you put him in there, he's going to be an excellent talent, could he be a guy that could sell out, you know, uh, arenas and stadiums, and you know, wherever the UFC wants to compete, maybe, maybe not, we'll just have to wait and see if the W, if the the WWE. If the UFC wants to give him a contract, we'll just have to wait and see how you know all turns out. I'll be making some more videos about this because personally, I'm a huge Spong fan. I really, you know, I would really love to see him fight in the UFC. But let me hear your guys' opinion about this. Do you think it'll be a right move for Spong to, you know, part ways with Glory for a little while and you know make the jump to the UFC, or do you, do you think you know Spong is ready for UFC competition? Only having one, you know, major fight, and that was with World Series of Fighting Four. So let me hear your guys' opinion about this. I'm Justin Gotti for Justin Gotti TV. I'll catch you guys in my next video.